Hello, Bay Broncos. It's Mrs. W. Um, welcome to my second Black Lives Matter at School Week of Action video. Today, I'm going to get to talk about principles three through five, and you're going to get to meet John Robinson, who was an aviator, which means he was a pilot, and more. So Black Lives Matter guiding principle three is called loving engagement. It's so important to make sure that we are always trying to be fair and peaceful and to engage with other people or treat other people with love. We have to keep practicing this so we can get better and better at it. Another way to say that is loving engagement. This makes me feel like I wanna put my hand over my heart, lovingly engaging with people. Black Lives Matter guiding principle four is diversity. This one's important. All of them are important, but different people do different things and have different feelings. It's so important that we have lots of different kinds of people in our community and that everyone feels safe. That's one of the things I love about Bay is that we have lots of different kinds of people and yet we're a community and we all support each other. It's very important. Black Lives Matter guiding principle five is called globalism. Globalism means that we are thinking about all the different people all over the world and thinking about the ways to keep things fair everywhere. So this is John Robinson. He was an aviator or a pilot and he lived about between 1905 and 1954. Uh, record keeping was a little different then than it is now. So it's harder to know exactly when someone was born. But when John was young, he dreamed of being a pilot. But the aeronautical university that he applied to, they didn't allow black students. So he got a job as a janitor and he sat in on the classes so that he could learn. He was so dedicated to being a pilot. One of the instructors was so impressed with his abilities, John and his friend built their own airplane. That sounds amazing. That instructor invited John to be a student. He later started a flight school to train black pilots and his efforts led to the formation of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first all black group of pilots in the Air Force. Pretty cool, huh? So this information comes from the book, Little Leaders, Exceptional Men in Black History by Vashti Harrison. So Broncos, I hope you enjoyed learning about more of the guiding principle of Black Lives Matter and meeting John Robinson. Have a wonderful day. Remember, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. I miss you. See you tomorrow.